This is the Vatican, the global seat of the Catholic Church. And here the head of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, led Holy Mass as is the tradition every Christmas day. Amen. The Catholic faithful across the world together with other Christians following the Mass through various channels across the world to this year's message from the Pope. And here Pope Francis called on all people to love each other regardless of various differences. Today is the right day to draw near to the tabernacle, the crash, the manger, and to say thank you. Let us receive the gift that is Jesus, in order then to become gift, like Jesus. Back home in Nairobi's Holy Family Minor Basilica, Archbishop John Cardinal Jue this morning led Catholic faithful in Kenya in celebrating Holy Mass. Jue in his Christmas message called on Kenyans to show compassion for the needy. When we come together every year to celebrate this, it's not a formality, but it really is a reminder. A reminder of the depth of the love of God and also of the humility and obedience of our Lord Jesus Christ who is the Son of God. This day was also used for purposes of seeking penance for their sins and seeking a rebirth of Christ in their hearts. At All Saints Cathedral of the Anglican Church, the situation was the same. Here the service got underway, led by Archbishop Jackson Ole Sapit. According to Sapit, this day should be set aside for family sharing and keeping the peace. During this festive season, 2019, we commemorate the birth uh, of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, who took the form of man and come to dwell among us, God with us. During this Christmas, we celebrate a new creation into which Jesus has welcomed uh, each one of us. Uh, we as well as celebrate the incarnation of Christ. The service which is also held to prepare its faithful to receive spiritual healing aimed at bringing together their faithful during a period they consider holy. Dennis Matarake, 24, Evening Edition.